Uh, this thing is a 112 pound box. It is a uh, Gardasol ZTC P05 carport. It is 10 foot by 20 foot. Uh, you can see it has the uh, heavy duty top. Um, you can get this fully enclosed for like $50 more. I think this thing was under $300 on Amazon, like $350, you can get it fully enclosed. Uh, you can see four poles on either side. Um, I do believe it's powder coated steel, and that's what I like. So we'll go ahead and get this thing unboxed and put up. All right, let's see what's in the box. Always curious to see what is gonna be opened up. Make sure we don't cut the top, that's for sure. We don't wanna do that, so. Oh man, I like this. This looks really good. It's gonna look good out here. Oh yeah, I like those poles. I did get the gray color. I think uh, gray will be hidden out here in the woods very, very well. Oh man, I like those poles. All right. Woo, lots of poles there. Okay, drop it on its side. Whoa, here we go. Look at that. All right, very nice. Oh, guys, these are simple to, these have the push buttons. I don't even use bolts. Oh my gosh, these have the quick connects and they're labeled A, oh my goodness. This is gonna be an easy build. Everything is unboxed and separated. A poles, B poles, C poles. We've got the corner pieces, which are D sections, very nicely labeled. Um, we've got our instructions. The instructions say it takes two people 40 minutes. Of course, uh, I'm one YouTuber and I'm gonna be filming it all, so it's probably take me like five hours, you know how that goes. But uh, two people should be able to do this in 40 minutes. Uh, we also have all the uh, the bottom uh, posts. Now, if you, you're on concrete or something, you can put uh, uh, anchor bolts into there. We've got all the little, the bungees and the stakes. We've got all the good stuff. <laughs> they even give you two pair of gloves, uh, these fabric gloves here, and then we have the um, corner uh, tie-down stakes as well. So, uh, man, and when the, uh, the uh, top is a very very nice uh, heavy duty thick too i think this is going to hold up pretty well for us uh, so let's get to putting this together i think it's going to be a, a quick and easy build these instructions look very very simple uh, it's like three pages and you are done putting this up looks like we start off with getting two a sections and three d sections uh, for the end um, the center sections use the e sections which have four connections so we're going to do uh four total and then we're going to put all the uh, side supports on again these all just click together throw the canopy on uh put the bungees oh, man goodness gracious so easy i'm going to lay all these sections out for you real quick in time lapse then we'll look at how a couple of them go together then we'll time lapse boom putting it all together starting on our front end i've got two a sections just gonna push that button down. Well, I, I did not know it was gonna be this easy to assemble our carport here. If you wanted to move this, this would not be an issue at all. So here's our far end. We've gotta get our D sections on the end, start moving our way down. So I'm on one of the front corners here. You really can't mess this up. Uh, you put the A section, the D section, there's only one hole and one button and you get that. So when I lift it up, you can see pole goes down, pole goes that way. Uh, again, the center sections will have the four connections, which are the E's. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the end, the other end first, and then come in and start doing the center sections. So for the center side sections and then the center of the center sections, we use these E's. And you wanna make sure like on the outside edges, it curves this way. You don't wanna do it like this because the sides don't curve, the, the top curves down to the side. So I'm gonna get my A, put it straight into there, just like that. There we go. Now we'll move to the center section here and we've got our E's, same piece. Again, I don't want it like this because the, the, the center don't curve that way. The roof don't curve that way. The roof curves this way. So I just grab that same A section, put it in, and you can see, where does it line up at? There it is. Lines up right there. Now, when I put this one in, you can see. There we go. Now we've got our peak. Now we've got our canopy peak. Now it's time for these long B sections. We're going to put them on the, the peaks 
uh, three down the middle and three on the sides. It'll be nine sections of bees, and that will frame out the top of our canopy. Now that we got the top section already fully assembled, uh, it's a good time to reposition it. Position it uh, where you want your approach to be. Uh, it's much easier to do that when it's low like this without the side poles on, because the side poles don't have connecting uh, uh, rods. Uh, they're just straight poles going down. So much easier to do it when, you, when you've got it in this section here. So get it where you want it. And the next thing we're gonna do is throw the tarp over it, the canopy top. Um, if you wait until after you got your side poles up, you gotta have two people, you gotta have a ladder and all that stuff. So I. Put it over the top, get it just rudimentarily fastened, and then when you put your side poles up, all you gotta do is fasten uh, the tarp that's already on top uh, the, with the bungees and the corner, set, corner uh, Velcro. You're gonna like that. Drape the canopy over the top pole like this. Find out where all the openings are. Start bringing it down. Of course, my luck, I'll probably have it upside down, but that's just the way it goes. Oh, take my get it right there we are man this thing is I, I really like this i mean for the for the money i mean it's not a metal top one thing i was always thinking um i can always if this uh, top degrades buy another one of course or i can just put some of the plastic corrugated roofing sheetings over it uh which would be great as well so that one might be a long-term thing so let's get this top pulled over straightened up and we're ready to put the side sections on. With the tarp fully covering the top, I'm just gonna find one of these corners. The corners have the, the Velcro straps. And all I'm gonna do is put the Velcro strap around this uh, bottom section pole, and that will just basically keep it in place as I'm lifting it up. So I'm gonna do this to all four corners. Time for our final poles. We're gonna get our C poles, which can have button on one end. And on this end, there are a, a series of holes. The holes will go down towards the bottom. That's where our base plates are gonna be. So all we gotta do is take this in with the spring release, pop them in all uh, eight of our uh, uh, vertical poles, and uh, then we'll be ready to uh, get the bottom attached. For the vertical poles, we're gonna install these base plates. They're gonna slide them down, and then there's a, a bolt that goes through with a nut, and you can use a 13 millimeter or half inch uh, standard wrench uh, for, for your bolt and nut there. And also these tent stakes. Uh, once you get uh, all your poles straight on each side of your canopy, uh, then you can put a tent stake through each one of the holes on either side of the base. We'll go ahead and get all those installed now. Now we've got a ton of these little bungees to install. All you gotta do is put the rope end through the eyelet of the tarp, come around down below the, the pipe, and then put it around the bungee uh, little plastic ball, and you have got it set. Final step to getting our carport completed is our tie downs, our corner tie downs. These are optional, uh, but highly recommended as those little tent stakes. You know, if you're out, out in the open field and you get a, a gust of wind and all you're using the tent stakes, it's probably not gonna uh, hold you down very well. But these tie downs, you can see they have a little screw, corkscrew on the end there, a little corkscrew. And so you'll twist those in and then all the way into the ground. And then you have your strings here and you'll tie your strings to the corner of your canopy, pull straight down and you can tie a slip knot that pulls up and tightens the string, pulls the canopy all nice and taut and your canopy is secure in place. Start, I'll push the corkscrew in, start turning. Once it starts to be a little difficult to turn, then I can use my screwdriver through the 
hole there and just keep turning until it goes all the way down flush flush with the uh the ground Ugh, nice and tight nice and tight now i can loop this around here and we can tie our string in a way where we can cinch this up. All right, now we're gonna give instruction on how to tie a taut line for a tent rope like this. This is not in the instructions for this carport, but this is what's called a taut line. So get your uh, uh, loop made up, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come under one, two times. So once you got it looped two times like that, then you're gonna go over the loops, and then you're gonna have what looks like that right there, and you tighten that up, so you got two below, one above, tighten that up. And what happens is when you pull on the rope, that tightens and that will hold and cinch itself. Taut line. You'll periodically want to come back and check your taut line. Just pull up, pull up, pull up. Uh, as things loosen up as the canopy stretch in the, in the, in the noonday sun, uh, those will loosen up a little bit. Just keep tightening them up and they will hold for a very long time. Guys, our canopy, our carport is done. Oh, wait a second. It's not done. We don't have anything under it. Let's get our 14 foot trail under here and call this a day. This carport is perfect for our 14 foot trailer. Protect it from the elements, make that uh, wood on the decking last a very, very long time. I mean, look, we've got a couple feet left at the end of the uh, carport. The tongue is under it and whoo, look at this big old drop off down here, guys. <laughs> yeah, this does not do it justice. That is, that is 30 foot. That is every bit of 30 foot, 40 foot probably to that stump down there. Wow, but lots and lots of room here very good coverage very good quality too i mean for for what this is gardasol you did a great job with this canopy super easy to put together i i could not be happier i've done way more complicated things here on the ridge that is for sure